that preparation is not being made for the risk of uh, another uh, cosmic impact. This is not theory, this is a fact. There's a comet up there. And responsible astronomers regard the torrid meteor stream as the greatest collision hazard facing mankind at the present time. Is Joe Rogan about to save the whole of humanity? Asteroid dangers come in a variety of sizes, even though massive impactors like the one that destroyed the entire planet 65 million years ago are extremely rare. A densely populated metropolis could have an impact that kills millions of people. Earth's collision with incoming asteroids could cause a catastrophic loss of human life. Recently, Joe Rogan disclosed that Earth will soon experience a few relatively close encounters with asteroids. What would happen if these asteroids collided with Earth? Are we destined for death or will we survive? Let's find out. In what is now Mexico, an asteroid with a diameter of 10 to 15 kilometers or 6 to 9 miles struck Earth 65 million years ago. The dinosaurs were among the 70% of Earth species that perished on the impact. Such enormity of impacts would have had catastrophic implications and the geological record provides some clues as to what transpired. The asteroid struck in water, causing mega tsunamis to sweep up a shallow inland ocean that covered what is now the Great Plains, spreading from southeast Mexico all the way to Texas and Florida. Asteroid and Earth fragments would have been launched by the explosion far enough to momentarily leave the atmosphere before crashing back to Earth. All of this material would have been heated to incandescence upon re-entry, burning the Earth's surface and starting wildfires like millions of shooting stars. The forests on Earth may have all been burned. Global earthquakes and possible volcanic eruptions would have been brought on by enormous shockwaves in the meanwhile. In less than a second, the impactor would have slammed underground, creating a crater that would have released a cloud of extremely hot dust, ash and steam. For up to 10 years, this dust may have completely blanketed the surface of the planet, making life on Earth difficult to sustain. More importantly, the dust may have persisted in the atmosphere for an extended period of time, obstructing the sun, preventing plants from photosynthesis, which is essential for the entire food chain, and reducing Earth's temperatures. When will a disaster like this happen next? Last month, a 200-foot, 58-meter broad asteroid passed by our planet far more closely than the Moon did. The size of this massive space rock dwarfs practically every other one that has ever been discovered orbiting the Moon. This is a huge asteroid, far larger than the usual few meter wide asteroids that occasionally approach Earth and even strike our atmosphere. It is wide enough that when it approaches Earth at a distance of 107,500 miles or 173,000 kilometers, it seemed large and bright enough in the night sky to be visible via binoculars. While asteroid 2023 DZ2 did not represent a threat to Earth during this visit, there remains a very remote possibility that it will strike us in 2026. If the extremely remote possibility that 2023 DZ2 did strike the planet, it would undoubtedly cause considerable harm which could be disastrous if it collided with a populated area. Compared to the bolides that struck Russia in 1908 and 2013, the asteroid appears to be two to three times bigger. Above the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, an asteroid with a diameter of roughly 20 meters entered Earth's atmosphere in 2013. It detonated while it was still in the air, delivering 500 kilotons of TNT's worth of energy. Fortunately, it burst around 30 kilometers above the surface and avoided any direct impacts. However, it sent a shockwave through six cities, inflicting 1,500 injuries and 7,200 structure damages. Those who witnessed the brilliant flash and went to windows to look outside were the ones who sustained the majority of the injuries. The shockwave arrived later and shattered the windows, hurtling individuals with flying glass because it was traveling 
at a slower speed than sound. Furthermore, a recently discovered asteroid roughly the size of an Olympic swimming pool has a small chance of colliding with Earth on Valentine's Day in 23 years, according to NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office. The asteroid has a 1 in 625 chance of reaching Earth, based on data forecasts from the European Space Agency. However, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Sentry System placed the odds at closer to 1 in 560. The latter tracks probable collisions with heavenly objects. To highlight the necessity of planetary defense, scientists have described what would occur if an asteroid were to collide with Earth. The fictitious asteroid scenario shows the potential destruction such an impact could wreak, as well as how an asteroid threat might develop over several years. Chodas's fictitious scenario began on January the 10th, 2023, with the finding of a brand new asteroid given the designation 2023 PDC. The object is initially classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid, PHA, defined by NASA as any asteroid that intersects Earth's orbit at a distance from the planet of about 4.6 million miles or 7.4 million kilometers or less, and that has a magnitude of 22.0 when discovered, which is only slightly brighter than the faintest stars visible to the Hubble Space Telescope. Chodas noted that while the asteroid tracking equipment on Earth continues to watch the rock, better restricting its orbit around the Sun, the impact probability of 2023 PDC first rises to just 1 in 10,000. On April 3, 2023, Chodas designated a time period as Epoch 1, at which point the scenario became severe. The NEO program manager emphasizes that crucial decisions need to be made now, despite the potential effect date being estimated to be October 22nd, 2036, which gives more than a decade for preparedness. The way mankind responds to the threat will depend on a number of unresolved issues, some of which are the characteristics of 2023 PDC asteroid itself. The size of 2023 PDC is estimated to be between 720 and 2,200 feet, that's 220 to 660 meters. However, if the asteroid surface is black, it might be as wide as 1.3 miles or 2 kilometers. The size of the asteroid is crucial since it will decide not only how much damage it causes, but also what steps must be made to divert it or even whether this is even possible. As a result, a kinetic impactor, like the one used in NASA's double asteroid redirection test, DART, recently, wouldn't be a viable option for diverting a massive asteroid that was headed for Earth. According to Chodas, 2023 PDC, is too close to the Sun for infrared astronomy to be used to estimate its size, since the Sun's intense light would wash out the light from the object. Hence, infrared-focused, space-based observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, and the Hubble Space Telescope won't be of much use in observing this rock. Similarly, the asteroid will be too far away early in its approach for radar to detect it. Chodas says that implies our initial options for measuring the asteroid's size are optical observations only. This restricts the amount of information astronomers may gather about 2023 PDC, information that could more precisely define the asteroid's size and orbit. 2023 PDC is too far away from Earth to accurately determine its orbit at the time of its detection in this hypothetical scenario because it is about 124 million miles, that's 200 million kilometers, away. Although it is far away and faint, the asteroid has an orbital period that is very similar to Earth's, if not slightly shorter. This means that the asteroid will eventually catch up to Earth, and in 13 years, it's possible that both will collide in the small red box that represents the intersection of Earth's orbit and the 2023 PDC. Where the asteroid will be in 13 years is a subject of considerable uncertainty. 
The uncertainty will decrease as we keep track of the asteroid until it actually gets smaller than Earth. The red hitbox in the team's calculation was shrunk to a size smaller than the size of the Earth, indicating that the 2023 PDC will impact the globe. The precise location on Earth where the asteroid will collide with the planet can then be predicted by astronomers. So what damage would that do? Lorian Wheeler, a NASA advanced supercomputing expert, described how assessing the possible harm from the 2023 PDC entails developing an asteroid impact risk assessment model and taking into account a variety of variables, such as asteroid size and other features, from sparse observational data. The lower size estimate for the 2023 PDC is roughly 1,000 feet or 300 meters in diameter, which would cause destruction on the scale of an entire continent and emit up to 2,000 megatons of energy. That is equal to 133,000 times the energy that is thought to have been released by the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima at the end of World War II. The possible catastrophe that 2023 PDC's influence could cause becomes considerable as its size increases. With a diameter of 2,000 feet or 600 meters, the impact would be on the verge of a global catastrophe. This massive hit from 2023 PDC would produce up to 20,000 megatons of energy, hence doubling in size has resulted in an increase of the destructive power to about 10 times. The 2023 PDC impact scenario gets extremely bleak at 3,330 feet or a kilometer wide. The team determines that 2023 PDC is considerably more likely to result in a global catastrophe of this size. Around 100,000 megatons of energy or 6.6 .6 million Hiroshima nuclear explosions would be released in such an impact. The range of possible impact energy and, consequently, the severity of the subsequent damage are unpredictable due to factors other than size, such as the asteroid's angle of entry to the atmosphere. The most likely threat is going to be a massive ground impact or a low air burst that produces a fireball and blast wave that are quite destructive. Given the scale of things we have here, the damage severity is anticipated to reach unrecoverable levels, with greater regions of damage spreading to nearby places and causing structural damage, fires and broken windows. For smaller impacts, the outer damage area is a band that may have a diameter of 62 to 124 miles or 100 to 200 kilometers or more. It is located outside the primary impact zone. In circumstances when the hypothetical asteroid achieves sizes of 2,000 feet, this enlarged damage zone might have diameters as large as 372 miles, that's 600 kilometers. Throughout the entire swathe, a sizable population, typically in the hundreds of thousands to millions of people, could be impacted. The population damage from impacts over land is between 10,000 and 10 million people, depending on the region. And if the impact is on a broader scale, those estimates could reach the tens to hundreds of millions of people range. If the asteroid 2023 PDC were to strike any ocean, it would cause a tsunami, but the Atlantic Ocean would be the location where it would cause the most harm to people because it carries the highest danger of causing a tsunami that might affect populated regions. A greater 2023 PDC asteroid collision could potentially have climate change consequences that could eventually have an impact on millions to billions of people worldwide. The conclusion is that there is a very wide spectrum of possible damage. The potential repercussions are so strong that if it hits Earth, it might be quite harmful. How concerned ought we to be? It is crucial to emphasize that 2023 PDC is an entirely fictitious object and is not headed toward Earth. In actuality, no sizable asteroids are expected to strike Earth in the next 100 years. 
The 1,100 feet or 340 meter diameter asteroid 99942 Apophis, which was expected to come perilously close to Earth in 2068, had the highest chance of crashing into the planet. But NASA disregarded this possibility in 2021, and 99942 Apophis will now pass the Earth without harming it. Of course, that doesn't rule out the possibility of an object with an orbit that crosses Earth's route around the Sun that is just waiting to be found. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.